Admit it, when you can tell someone's reading their presentation notes, it's a turn off. In today's episode, I'm going to show you an affordable way to not be that guy using the power of home or office-based teleprompting for a Zoom Teams or WebEx presentation. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. In the past year and a half of virtual presentations, I think I've seen it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. However, what I consider to be the number one presentation party foul is what I call the reader. I think you know what I'm talking about. This is the presenter whose eyes are dancing left to right. They're generally reading in monotone, and well, it's just painfully obvious to everyone watching that they're reading their presentation. It's just a big turnoff. Executives delivering live in a virtual world or in a pre-tape piece, I'm talking to you. Pitch teams delivering group presentations on Zoom or Teams, I'm talking to you. In a video conference, a great presentation should feel more like a conversation where your eyes are locked in and focused on your audience through that camera lens. Listen, I totally get that you've carefully planned out your words. Let me help you deliver them in a more engaging way. I'm talking about teleprompting, home or office style. Now, when most of us think of teleprompters, we think of news anchors or presidents giving speeches, and that sounds really exotic and really expensive. It doesn't have to be. Home-based teleprompting is now amazingly affordable and accessible. For our purpose, we'll focus on configuring an affordable teleprompter solution for use in a live presentation on a Zoom or Teams video conference. Here's what you'll need. First things first, you'll want an affordable teleprompter app for your smartphone or tablet. There are many great options, but the one I personally selected is Prompt Smart Pro. They have a free version, but to get all the features you're going to use, it's a bargain at $20 on the Apple app app store or around three dollars a month for android users now for this small investment you'll receive an incredibly powerful teleprompter tool chief among these features is voice track technology which uses artificial intelligence to listen to your voice and automatically advance the teleprompter script on your behalf now if you are just needing to record content this app may alone do the trick as you can see prompt smart pro has a selfie mode where it records you in hd while placing your teleprompter script on screen for you. However, to make full use of this tool during a live Zoom style presentation, you'll need to add some additional tools. First, you'll need a teleprompter beam splitter. Now, if you've never seen a beam splitter, it's pretty amazing. Behind the beam splitter's angled glass, you will position your webcam. In front of the glass, you'll place your smartphone or tablet's teleprompter app. The beam splitter technology allows you to stare right at the camera and read your prompter script while the camera records pure video without the teleprompter text visible. For light or home duty office use, it's hard to beat the offerings from Glide Gear. Their selection of tripod mounted beam splitter hardware for smartphones and tablets range from $100 to $300. I personally purchased the Glide Gear TMP100, which is set up for smartphones and tablets. For your home office or office, You'll also need a tripod, or if space is at a premium, a C-clamp table mount to place the Glide Gear teleprompter beam splitter on. I'll put a few links in the description below. Once you set up your tripod and beam splitter, you'll want to mount a secondary USB or DSLR webcam behind the beam splitter's primary glass. Now you can look right at your camera and deliver your presentation with confidence and with no one the wiser. If you've got your tripod, beam splitter, and camera set up, now now it's time to load your script into your Prompt Smart Pro app. I think you'll find this extremely easy. The app works with cloud-based sites like Google Docs, Box, Dropbox, etc., and plays well with Word and rich text files. Now within Prompt Smart Pro settings, turn on the mirroring feature, press play, and you are off to the races. Now let's talk reality. In a real life Zoom meeting, you'll want to disable voice track prior to your formal presentation sections. Otherwise, the app may advance if it matches up a few words. To manage this in an elegant fashion, download the Prompt Smart Remote Control app. This additional functionality does require an additional $2 per month, but the convenience of activating voice track remotely and advancing your content remotely is well worth the additional two bucks per month. Basically, you've just hired your own professional teleprompter producer for less than $30 per year. Pretty good deal. All right, I'll go off script for a second. I'll hit pause and just show you a couple bits of that function. So you have that ability to advance line by line and also advance 
and press and hold and advance longer. When you're ready to start again, you just need to press the play button to reactivate voice track. So I'll do that right now. All right, there you have it. Please let me know your thoughts on this video or any other presentation challenges you'd like to plus up. As always, stay tuned for more live and virtual presentation plus up tips every Thursday. Thanks and make it a great day.